Greetings and salutations. This is Spicy Chicken Spicy Boy here with a spicy chicken review for you today. I am going to be reviewing something today from a place that although serves Mexican food does not always have the spiciest offerings, strictly speaking, from a spice level, but they do come up with some interesting concoctions. I'm talking about Taco Bell. I am going to be trying the Cheesy Chicken Crispinata today, which, to my understanding, is a limited time only release. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be on the menu for. Uh, maybe that will depend upon its popularity. Um, but I believe this is the first time it's been released, at least in my area. And I'm not really sure what to expect. Now, I don't know what a Crispinata is precisely. Um, the name makes you think maybe it's like an empanada. It's cheesy. It's chicken. Um, it comes with a side of their spicy ranch for Duncan. And, you know, we're going to have to take a look at it. I'm going to be judging it, of course, on the overall flavor, the texture, um, just the kind of general quality that it gives. Um, this appears to be a deep fried item, you know, in the vein of an empanada. Um, apparently there's cheesy chicken in the inside here and, you know, we'll be pairing it with that spicy ranch to see how it all goes together. Um, you know, I don't know much besides that. I think I am just going to have to take a bite and tell you what I think and I'll, I'll give you the rundown in a moment. Here we go. The cheesy chicken Crispinata. Well, my initial impression, there is, you know, as it's a fried item, there is a really nice, and I do like this, a crunchy fried crust on the seal here where the pocket has been sealed and then it's fried. And the exterior has some nice fry texture to it, leaving the inside <clears throat> kind of soft. You know, it's like a pastry dough. Um... So there's a soft flakiness on the inside and a nice crisp on the outside edge, particularly. And then some chewiness um, kind of in the middle. Now, the inside is like a shredded chicken interior with some kind of cheese sauce. Um, there's, there's not a tremendous amount of seasoning flavor. You do get the cheesiness. Um, the chicken doesn't come through really strong. It's pretty finely shredded. I almost would like a little more chicken texture in this as well. But the cheesiness is kind of nice. Um, the predominant seasoning is salt. And then there's the cheesy flavor, the flaky pastry. So, I mean, flavor-wise, it's not really knocking my socks off. It's There's not, you know, a high degree of flavor. But that crunchy little piece on the edge is pretty nice. Um, you know, I'm going to take another little bite and I'm going to dunk it in this spicy ranch to see how they partner together. And then I will report back to you on that. Here we go. Hmm. Well, interestingly, the spicy ranch does bring some much needed flavor to the item. Um, but there's kind of an odd, it's like the flavor of the ranch to me conflicts with the cheesy, oily flavor of the item itself. There's something about it that makes it not quite the right condiment for this 
um, crispinata item. I almost wish there was something like a little fresher, maybe something a little more herbal to go with it. The spicy ranch, while it does bring flavor, and the spicy ranch itself is not bad, I don't think it's the right sauce for this item. Um, it's okay, but I, I would pair it with something else. I would see, you know, perhaps just some fire sauce if you're at Taco Bell, but I think like a nice salsa verde would go really well with this, or... You know, something cilantro-based, maybe with a little more vinegar in it. Something like that could be a lot better with this. I don't think the ranch is, is doing it for me. Um, overall, the spice level of the item is minimal. Very little spice. Um, the spicy ranch itself is like a 2.5 on a spiceometric scale. Um, the empanada itself is not spicy. Um... But it has, I think it, it does do well texturally, despite not being extremely flavorful. You got the crisp, the creamy, the chewy, the flaky. It hits a lot of good texture notes. I just think I'm going to need a different sauce if I'm going to come back to this thing again ever. And that being said, as an item, you know, I think I'll give it a six. It's pretty okay, and it's an interesting attempt um, I wish the chicken were better seasoned, and I wish the sauce paired better. But, you know, aside from that, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, per se. If you like kind of low-spice food, or you have a mild palate, um, you probably will like this. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with it. It just is not wowing me with flavor. So, I think that's about all I've got to say for it. Um, you know, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Make sure to comment down below. Uh, any other novelty items that could be coming out such as this that, you know, maybe I'd like to review. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the reviews of said items in the future when they happen. This has been Spicy Chicken Spicy Boy. Uh, I hope you all are doing well and keep it spicy, folks.